Welcome to our 2020 Manufacturing Day event in Snoqualmie. To get us started today, Council Member Kathy Lambert has shared some special remarks with us. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Kathy Lambert, your King County Council Member, and I'm really glad to welcome you to Manufacturing Day. It's great to see so many students interested in manufacturing. The manufacturing industry has been a foundational piece of the Snoqualmie Valley economy for decades. Throughout the pandemic, the industry has proven to be even more essential. These have countless stories of manufacturers designing new products, modifying existing products to do their part in supplying the necessary resources to keep our local economy healthy and safe. And on the national level, we've watched manufacturing industries go to bat and look at products to help our economy and our citizens in ways they never dreamed. For instance, manufacturing of our respirators that kept people alive. Here in Washington, we understand the true value of a strong manufacturing industry. In fact, one of our local high schools has put on a whole wing for teaching industry. Manufacturing employs a little over eight and a half percent of the state's workforce, and they are also responsible for a little over 11 and a quarter percent of our total output. As consumers, we act with products each day that are manufactured locally, from our food and beverage containers to our shipping boxes for our online retail purchases, which we are all making lots of these days. Products made locally, we know, keep our economy growing strong. This industry could be a special personal gain to you also. Manufacturing jobs typically carry a higher wage potential for employees with and without college educations, making it a great field to get into. So thank you again for being part of today's great event, and I encourage you to continue considering entering into our region's vital and important manufacturing industries. Thank you. Welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Devin Bowman. I'm the general manager at Technical Glass Products, uh, and I have worked here for the last 18 years. Um, we are so very excited to have you with us for our first ever virtual manufacturing day. Each year, we hold this event in October to celebrate the amazing opportunities in manufacturing, and we hope to inspire some of you to pursue a career in this great industry. There are so many vibrant and valuable jobs. Manufacturing, as we've definitely seen this year, is essential. If you think about it, if something isn't grown, it's made. And at Allegion, our work matters. Allegion has continued operating throughout the COVID-19 pandemic to continue producing our essential products, which do provide safety and security at medical centers and hospitals, among many other places. Of course, our event this year is virtual to help protect your health and safety, as well as the health and safety of our 190 local employees. As a business that's been located here for over 11 years, health and safety is our top priority. At Allegion, we invest in our employees and our facilities. If you were in person with us for a tour today, you'd see many updates to help protect our people, like masks, temperature screenings, regular deep cleaning of the facility, social distancing signage, limited seating in our conference and break rooms, and remote work opportunities for office employees. Even though you aren't here in person, we're gonna spend the next 90 minutes showing you everything we can, we can about who we are and what manufacturing careers look like. Allegion has 30 brands around the globe. You'll see many of these brands produce products in the United States, some that we'll cover with you today inside Technical Glass Products, TGP, as well as Schlage, LCN, Von Duprin, Steelcraft, and Republic. We manufacture safety and security products, ranging from me mechanical and electronic door locks for homes and public buildings to door closers, emergency exit devices, doors, frames, hinges, knobs, levers, kick plates, access control, control credentials, and readers and many other solutions. While Legion is a global company, all of our locations, our employees and brands are connected by a shared vision and purpose. Our vision is seamless access in a safer world. Allegiant manufactures many solutions that aim to make security more convenient and keep people and their property safe. Our purpose is to create peace of mind by pioneering safety and security. Our employees are innovators, creating new and better ways to keep people safe, even adding connectivity and IoT capabilities to make our products smart. Allegiant has a unique culture that reflects the shared values of our employees. We believe every voice matters. 
no matter your role at the company or your length of time here. Be empowered and accountable. Share local, uh, at our favorite, at our facilities, the products and solutions our people build to help keep people in their property safe. We strive to make, embrace our be safe, be healthy value. Manufacturing jobs today are safer than ever because our new ideas and technology. And at Allegiant, our values, investments have still driven us to have an incident rate that's 85% below the 2018 US industry average. Our employees are innovators, creating new and better ways to keep people safe, even adding connectivity to IoT capabilities to make our products smart. We believe working in and contributing to our community matters too. Do the right thing and serve others, not yourself, are, val are two values that lead us in giving back. Each year, our employees around the world are proud to directly support organizations and initiatives through donations, engagement, and thousands of hours of volunteerism. Locally, TGP employees annually participate in the Snoqualmie Valley's Holiday Giving Tree, sponsored by Kiwanis, as well as making charitable donations to local nonprofits, such as Encompass Northwest, Friends of Youth, and LEO Life Enrichment Options. We invest in Gallup's engagement, uh, engagement program regularly, sampling, sampling employee feedback. TDP supplies the architectural and commercial building industry with innovative solutions for specialized glazing needs. Fire to glass and framing solutions, you can view what we offer at fireglass.com, as well as architectural glass and framing solutions, viewable at tgpamerica.com. A little bit about the history of our company. In 1976, the company was founded. It was actually founded in the den of uh, independent salesperson, and it quickly grew into a thriving business. In 2008, the new facility here in Snoqualmie, Washington was open. In 2012, we opened a sales office in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. And in 2015, TGP Perrysburg, Ohio was open. Uh, in 2017, we were acquired by Allegiant. Manufacturers have lifted us from the destruction and disarray of wars and the despair and distress of economic recessions throughout U.S. history. Now with COVID-19, manufacturers, manufacturers have mobilized to meet the greatest public health and economic threat of our time. We strive to make embrace, we strive to make embrace our be safe, be healthy value. Manufacturing jobs today are safer than ever because of new ideas and technology. And at Allegiant, our value investments has still driven us to have an incident rate that's 85% below the 2018 U.S. industry average. Now I'd like to introduce Janice Evans, who leads our human resources group here at TGP. Thank you, Devin. My name is Janice Evans, and I oversee the HR function for Allegiant Technical Glass Products. I've been with the company for almost nine years. Manufacturing, as you can see from TGP's local impact, is very important to the U.S. economy. Still, manufacturing, especially in the U.S., is at a crossroads. We are facing a skills gap. 80% of manufacturers report that there's a shortage of qualified applicants for open positions. It's easy to point to the stereotypes of manufacturing. Sweatshops portrayed by Hollywood and television have generated a sense of perceived negativity that has not been overcome by the manufacturing industry. But it's more than that. Stories and firsthand accounts have been passed through families regarding less than desirable conditions of factory work, ranging from long hours to repetitive, mindless contributions. The manufacturing skills gap is also linked to the lack of STEM skills among workers, fueled by a decline of technical education programs in high schools, as well as a lack of interest in manufacturing industry by today's youth. And due to the skills gap, it's now expected that there could be as many as 2.4 million unfilled positions in the manufacturing industry by 2028. That's not so far away. At TGP, manufacturing jobs are centered on employee empowerment, engagement, and innovation. We want your hearts and minds in addition to your hands and time. We want those who are driven to improve processes, want to partner with others, and have a desire to produce quality products for our customers. TGP believes tools and technological investments are essential elements of being able to provide customers with shorter delivery cycle times and higher quality products. Today, many new technologies and trends are impacting manufacturing, like robotics, the Internet of Things, and artificial intelligence. More than 12.1 million people are employed in manufacturing in the U.S. today. These millions of people are conceiving life-changing ideas, making a difference in improving the lives of others through manufacturing. 
Manufacturing drives growth in our economy. For every $1 spent in manufacturing, it generates an additional $2.74 of value in other sectors. Over the next decade, 4.6 million manufacturing jobs will likely be needed and 2.4 million are expected to go unfilled due to the skills gap. There are incredible jobs in manufacturing and a variety of expertise, from production and distribution to engineering and environmental health and safety. Locally, Allegiant employs 250 people in manufacturing. If you talk to our employees, many of them have worked in several roles during their careers and have developed a variety of skills. You'll hear some of those experiences in our panel discussion later today. I believe there can be a bright future for manufacturing as we will continue to see the introduction of new technologies. Tools and investments are essential elements of being able to provide our customers with shorter delivery cycle times and higher quality products. It is imperative to have employees who have the desire, knowledge, expertise, and capability to run, manage, and maintain such investments. TGP is ready to hire and invest in young people that want to build a career in manufacturing. TGP offers internship, skilled trade apprenticeship programs through our partners, early career and tuition reimbursement opportunities. Now I'd like to turn the program back over to Devin, who will be introducing you to engaging videos and our special guest speaker. At the end, we hope to have enough time for Q&A. If you have any questions, please type them in the chat box to the right and we'll do our best to answer your questions at the end. Devin? Thanks, Janice. Now that you've heard about our company, our presence in Snoqualmie, and what manufacturing looks like today, we want to give you the opportunity to see these things too. Unfortunately, we can't have you at our facility in person today, but we invite you to take a virtual tour with us, during which you'll have the opportunity to see our operations in Washington, as well as Ohio, California, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Colorado, and finally, Tennessee. Please take a look. At Allegion, we believe manufacturing is both a vibrant and essential industry. With many new trends impacting what we do every day, from robotics to the Internet of Things and more, there's no doubt that the creators of tomorrow have important roles to fill in pioneering safety and security at Allegion, both now and in the future. Guided by a shared vision of seamless access and a safer world, our employees are innovators building products and solutions that create peace of mind. As a global manufacturer with more than 30 brands in our portfolio, we invest in tools, technology, and our employees. Because of this, we have a healthy U.S. presence where those employees build mechanical and electronic locks, emergency exit devices, door closers, steel frames, and many other security solutions that help keep people safe at work, at home, in our community, and on the move. Let's take a look at some of our essential facilities and incredible jobs. In Snoqualmie, Washington, located near Seattle, Allegion produces technical glass products, or TGP, solutions. Since 1980, TGP has been supplying specialized glazing materials and systems for commercial and institutional buildings around the world. The brand is committed to helping solve challenges faced by architects, general contractors, and glaziers through its services and two product lines, fire-rated glass and framing, and specialty architectural glazing. You'll find these solutions at airports, schools, libraries, hospitals, and museums, among other places. TGP has exclusive agency relationships with Nippon Electric Glass, Pilkington, and RP Technic to distribute certain glass and framing product lines in North America and the Middle East. Our jobs in Snoqualmie range from assembly, with roles in fabrication, welding, and powder coating, among other key competencies, to engineering, sales, and more. Our Steelcraft brand boasts two locations, a West Coast service and manufacturing center just east of Los Angeles in Chino, California, where we assemble and produce custom hollow metal doors and frames, and our main plant in Blue Ash, Ohio, near Cincinnati. While we proudly produce high quality steel doors and frames at both facilities, our long-standing manufacturing history is rooted in Blue Ash. Located there for more than 75 years, a visit to our operations showcases talented employees with expertise in materials handling, welding, laser operating, and fabrication, creating doors intended to withstand fires as well as tornado and hurricane winds. 
Our production process starts with order entry, configuration, scheduling, and programming, and then moves to manufacturing our doors and frames from beginning to end, with finish on the paint line before shipping. From there, they go everywhere. That's right, you'll find these doors and frames around the world too, at medical centers, schools, and commercial offices. Some of our solutions can be seen in popular gathering places too, like the Superdome in New Orleans, the State Convention Center in Washington, and Iowa's State Sports Performance Center. You'll find our products at Ohio University, the University of Michigan, and the University of Kansas too. In Security Colorado, close to Colorado Springs, we produce keys, lock cylinders, and mechanical locks, as well as high security credentials and biometric products all four commercial buildings. We've operated there for more than 40 years, and our talented employees process over 100,000 parts per day and configure and test a wide array of high security products that are distributed to customers across the globe. The site is comprised of critical roles that include engineering, fabrication, assembly, testing, distribution, and supply chain management. Our associates use innovative tools like 3D printing, high-speed precision machining, and computer-aided design programs. We're especially proud to manufacture the Schlage brand of security solutions that provide seamless access at office buildings, universities, medical centers, and other vital places through mobile credentials. Our Olathe operations has produced mechanical lock cylinders and keys for more than 40 years in the Johnson County area. Located just outside of Kansas City, our facility includes a nearly 300,000 square foot warehouse and employees who also work in distribution, customer care, and sales. In fact, any Schlage residential lock that you see at your local hardware store, like Lowe's or Home Depot, has been supplied through our Olathe operations. That means if you live in the United States and have a Schlage door lock on your home, it passed through our facility here. We fulfill approximately 300 orders per day and ship nearly $1 million worth of product daily from this facility. With core competencies in assembly, as well as shipping and receiving, there are many incredible opportunities to play a role in delivering Allegiant's vision of seamless access and a safer world. Allegiant also has a strong legacy in Illinois, where we have manufactured LCN door closers at our Princeton facility on Railroad Avenue for more than 70 years. Here we've invested in state-of-the-art equipment, from CNC machines that can be programmed to run multiple processes for manufacturing multiple product lines at the same time, to cobots that work next to our people in an assembly line, driving extra flexibility and efficiency. Using this equipment requires problem solving and troubleshooting, programming, digitization, and automation skills. You'll also find lab technicians that specialize in product testing, tool makers, and maintenance teams all of whom play a vital role in taking our security solutions from start to finish. LCN products can be found in many high traffic facilities such as schools, hospitals, government and correctional buildings around the world. Our creators produce 35 different series of closures and door hardware to choose from, products that have 15 to 20 years of operating life. Our Republic brand proudly operates in McKenzie, Tennessee, sitting in the northwest region of the state at the tripoint of Carroll, Henry, and Weekly counties. We built high quality hollow metal doors and frames there for more than 40 years. And today our talented creators produce 300,000 frames and 80,000 doors annually. You'll see our solutions everywhere from national museums in Washington, DC to corporate data centers on the west coast. Our people specialize in customizing products to meet customers' exact needs. For instance, our talented employees grind down metal to prepare for a seamless door edge application, many times required for schools, hospitals, and commercial kitchens. And while our employees focus on customer needs, they've also innovated many of the ways we work to improve safety, ergonomics, quality, and efficiency. Because of that, you'll see automated processes and conveyors in McKenzie that transfer our doors and frames through different phases of production but our people make the difference, running control stations, cutting and forming systems, paint lines, and commercial drying ovens, among other important equipment. And because we work with steel, precision welding drives our solutions to be strong and durable for years of continuous service. Rounding out our Midwest presence, we have two manufacturing facilities in Indianapolis, Indiana, located right down the street from each other. 
operating on Toby Drive for more than 30 years and in the state for more than 100 years, we build Von Duprin and Falcon exit devices, as well as Glenn Johnson, Ives, and Zero International door hardware there. We're known for inventing the emergency exit device, as well as all of the customization we can provide for those life-saving devices today, which you'll see in nearly every public building, be it a government facility, a grocery store, a restaurant, a movie theater, a place of worship, a university, or otherwise. In fact, we produce more than 100,000 unique configurations in an average year. On any given day, we fulfill around 700 orders, requiring a cross-trained and flexible workforce with competencies in stamping, CNC machining, powder coating, plating, laser cutting, and etching. Our main line has a state-of-the-art vision system with 3D work instructions. It's so sophisticated that it detects errors and stops the line if a device is not built exactly as ordered. Our people play a critical role through problem solving in keeping our customers safe whenever and wherever our solutions are used. There's no doubt that Allegiant employees are innovators, creating new and better ways to keep people safe. The manufacturing jobs found at our U.S. and global sites today are centered on employee empowerment, engagement, and problem solving. From assembly, engineering, IT, materials management, distribution and logistics, robotics, environmental, health and safety, tool making, and more, the career paths are vibrant and valuable at Allegiant, and our work has never been more important. Well, we hope you enjoyed seeing our operations across the US. Importantly, if you were in person with us today, you'd also have the opportunity to speak to many of our valued employees and hear their opinions of, on what manufacturing means to them, as well as what the future of manufacturing looks like. Because we are together in person, we asked nearly 30 of our team members from across the company to answer a few questions for us. And we've compiled their thoughts and opinions for you today. Let's take a look. I love working at Allegiant. Uh, so many, so many different reasons why. Um, not only because of the product that we are manufacturing or the various portfolio of products that Allegiant overall manufactures, uh, but as an employer, Allegiant is a fantastic employer. Um, we care about our employees. We work through our eight values, uh, which is very important to me. What I love most about working at Allegiant are the people. The people. I work with a bunch of a great group of people. The good thing is, is the good, the people, uh, the engagement. Uh, you know, you can walk through here on any given day and somebody's going to have a smile on their face, carry on a great conversation with them, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, working here, I've met so many great people, people that have worked here for for 30 years that have helped mentor me and I've learned a lot from them and, and I'm starting to uh, get into a role now where I'm helping mentor uh, some of the, the new guys that are graduating school and coming onto our team. I've built a lot of lifelong friendships in the area I work in. Allegiant right now is my second home. I love it. I have friends. I live close to here. My team is my family. I have a, a small team, so it consists of like six people. That's my family right there. I'm, I'm with them every day, all day, so whatever they need, I'm there. The people are great. Um, from the people that I work with, um, the support's outstanding, and all the people uh, in the entire factory, just a great team environment. Uh, and that's what keeps me motivated to come to work every day. I feel like the pride that the employees put into creating quality products for all of our customers is what motivates me. I take pride in seeing our product out in the field, out in businesses, um, especially when I'm traveling. As you know, you're making good quality doors, and uh, it's just it's just fun knowing that you you make making doors for the whole world. The thing that motivates me the most is probably the the, the challenges of of solving problems. You're constantly doing new and different things every day. There's different issues, different problems, and I really enjoy problem solving. So. It gives me the opportunity to think outside the box and kind of be my own person while still accomplishing our total project. So being a machinist requires troubleshooting every day. Troubleshooting your machine as to why it alarms out, troubleshooting your programs. It's, it makes you have to think, which is half of the fun of the job because it's not boring. Yeah, manufacturing is constantly changing. 
You've got to think on the fly instantaneously. If there's a, a challenging issue or a customer deadline, um, sometimes you've got to think outside of the box a little bit in order to achieve that goal. There's a new challenge brought to me every single day. There's new projects every day. Um, one of our values is this is your business run with it. So if you have an idea, you could make that happen and grow. And that is 100% what happens. So if you have, if any of my operators have a spark or an idea, I'll use them to help make that happen. So if they think that the standard isn't good enough, let's find the better standard. And we do it. Every day is different. I learn something every day. I think the opportunities to grow at Allegiant are, are vast. I, I love the opportunities to be creative and collaborative. Allegiant gives you a great opportunity to bring the skill set that you have acquired outside of the company in and gives you another opportunity to acquire more skills. Allegiant has given me opportunities to put myself in a better position at work and also is paying for my college currently and helping progress in my education. I think the, the opportunities that present themselves in manufacturing are endless. Uh, and we talk to students as they come in about the ability to come in and maybe you start uh, in a great role with one of our team members out on the shop floor. People can, can venture around and do lots of different things in that environment. We have people that go from that to some of our lean technicians. They go to supervisor roles, they go to order entry, manufacturing, people that have worked their way up to, to running plants from starting on the shop floor. Um, so the, the opportunities are endless. It's all based on the amount of effort and the desire that you put into it. What manufacturing offers is so broad. So not only from a supply chain perspective, manufacturing operations, you can get into so many different avenues that that encompasses. So no matter if you're driven from a quality perspective, engineering perspective, um, lean management, actual shipping and distribution, logistics, there's so many things you can go into. So the opportunities are endless and it will never be the same challenge or same thing day to day. You know, if there's things that you want to do professionally, uh, you need to tell somebody, raise your hand and say, hey, I'm in, I want to do that. If you see somebody doing something, all you have to do is just ask, hey, this is something I'm interested. Is there a way to kind of move that way? And you can always learn. I mean, there's so many different things to learn in the warehouse that it's always growing. I've been very lucky to have opportunities to learn and grow, um, very honestly in things that I didn't even know I was capable of. I, I've seen people go from being welders to being maintenance technicians. I've seen people go from being CNC operators up to programmers. I've seen the programmers go from the programming department into the engineering department, start working on some of the software in there. Um, I used to work on the line and I became a team leader about four years ago. So that was my growth in the company. And uh, hopefully one day I'll be able to grow more. So I started out on the floor um, as a temp, and then I became, uh, I got a job as uh, shipping and receiving. After it was about a year or so out there on the floor, the estimating job opened up, and I put a you know resume in it for it, and I was lucky enough to get the job. Manufacturing is definitely not what it used to be. It's not dark and dirty. Um, as you see on our floor, there's robots, there's CNC, that's, a lot of it's controlled by computers. We have a 110-year-old brand here with our Von Duper and Push Bar exits, and yeah, we've got brand new robots that we're bringing in to do some polishing, and one, it's mesmerizing to watch them, but two, it's also impressive to see, hey, this new technology can come in and work on a product that's been around for 110 years. Seeing the advanced technology that we have now with robots and the different tools that we use, it's really neat, really cool to work with. The biggest change that I see in manufacturing is using data to drive process improvements and the increased amount of technology we're using. So we have a lot more robots, we have a lot uh, more technical equipment, more more skills are take to run the, those pieces of equipment and it, it, it really is, um, it's evolving and it's changing and you have to be flexible so so in one word i would describe the future of manufacturing as exciting i would say it's very exciting very bright i would say exciting very exciting um, and inspiring i would describe the future of manufacturing as as inspirational i would describe the future of manufacturing as committed. I think the future of manufacturing is evolving. It is a constant change. So it's constantly changing. We're always pushing the boundaries. It's, it's, it's going to be changing. It's, it's ever changing. New innovation, 
The future of manufacturing means continuous innovation. I'd say limitless. I think with all the innovations, the new machines, the new tools, automation, it can go as far as only it can take it. I mean, there is no limit to it. It's forever growing. Manufacturing technology is always advancing and there's always new tools to learn how to use. So automation is definitely the future of manufacturing. I would say dynamic. It's, it's, it's going to constantly be evolving and changing and we have to always position ourselves as employees and as leaders to be able to move with those changes. I think as uh, manufacturing becomes more modern, it's going to get highly more efficient. There's going to be there's going to be more efficient ways to do things faster. It's going to be technology. I mean, robotics. It's going to be exciting. I would say ever growing. It's vibrant. Dynamic. Always growing. Always on the move. Comparative. Elevated. Exponentially rising. Innovation. Quality and safety. It's the future of life. The future of manufacturing is a legion. Well, I'm so proud of all of our employees who took the time to share their words of inspiration with you on the future of manufacturing. In an industry that's so vibrant, it's hard to sum up all of the opportunities in one word or phrase. I'm also extremely proud of the next group of employees you're getting ready to hear from, who will share personal stories about their manufacturing journeys with you today. Just like last week, we gathered nine of our, just last week, we gathered nine of our TGP employees online for a virtual discussion of manufacturing careers today. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, welcome to Manufacturing Day. We will be having a panel today with uh, many of our employees from Allegiant and TGP. Um, I'm Emily Betts, I am an HR generalist with Allegiant and I've been with Allegiant for a little over three, three and a half years. Um, so we'll start with introductions of our crew. Um, we'll start with their names, their roles, and how long they've been with the company. Uh, so we'll start with Daryl. Hello, uh, my name is Daryl Petrie. I've been with the company for a little over eight years now, and I am currently a maintenance technician. Hi, I'm Spencer Hillback. I am a team lead for powder coating, and I have been with the company for about seven years. Hi, I'm Hope Bostic, and I just actually started not too long ago. I joined in through actually Manufacturing Day. Um, I came in as a senior still in high school as an intern, and um, then I was hired during the summer. So, yeah. Hi, my name is Brian Tizer. I work at uh, THP Snoqualmie, and I'm a material handler and logistics specialist, and I started in June of 2019. Hi, I'm Brian Gilland. I'm a mechanical engineer at TGP in Snoqualmie. Uh, I've been at TGP for two years now, and I, my role serves to uh, generate drawings and fab uh, documents uh, that are used by both our customers and the, and the manufacturing floor. Hi, my name is Jennifer Stiles, and I'm the quality engineer at TGP Snoqualmie. I've worked here for about a year and a half. Hello, my name is Deontay Murray. Um, I've been with the company for about a year and a half now. Um, my current role is the Environment Health and Safety Coordinator, uh, working with safety. Hi, I'm Jared Clay. I'm a project manager here at TGP, and I've been here for almost four years. Thank you, everyone. Um, so, Jen, let's start with you. What was the driving factor that led you to manufacturing? It wasn't until I was on my high school robotics team that I realized I could be an engineer. Uh, but the specificity of manufacturing uh, came from my dad, who worked in an aluminum plant. So as a kid, I would go to work with him every once in a while and get to see all of his projects and hear about his most recent one, which is always exciting. And he was always handing me various power tools, and I was his go-to person to help him out on projects. So. I was always just interested in how things worked, and uh, he fed that interest. Great, thank you. Brian T., what about you? What was the driving factor that led you to manufacturing? Well, previously I was a warehouse manager, 
and the skills I had formed in warehouse management were able to cross over into the materials group at TGP really well. Um, the organization and accuracy skills that I gained allowed me to move seamlessly into material handling in the logistics position. Thank you. Uh, so if you didn't plan on working in manufacturing, why are you? Spencer, we'll start with you on this one. How did you get yourself into manufacturing and find us? Thank you. Yeah, I uh, actually used to work at a place called Thermotech. We used to apply all the coatings on TGP's products and that was when I was 18. So I have a lot of experience with handling the product and everything like that and just being able to work with the material and seeing what it you know ends up being in the field on the buildings. It's it's a pretty good feeling, you know, you get a part in that. Yeah, it's awesome to see the the work that you've done in public and, and in use. Um, Jared, how about you? How did you land in manufacturing? Uh, years ago, I worked for a construction company in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I was actually a customer of TGPs. A um, little time after dealing with TGP for about a year or so, I uh, heard of an opportunity to come work for TGP as a project manager, um, and I seized that opportunity and uh, moved up to the Seattle area, and I've been working with TGP ever since. Um, and so it was a a shift of work um, and style, but it has turned out to be extremely rewarding. Great, thank you. So in our plants, there are a variety of jobs. We have people putting things together, running machines. Uh, we have other jobs that people may not always think about. Uh, things like materials, schedulers, customer service, um, enterprise excellence. Um, so let's hear a little bit more from Murray. Can you tell us about your role and how your role is critical in our manufacturing operations? Um, yes, I can. Uh, so as of right now, and I am working in environment health and safety. So basically my job right now is to protect all employees we have out on the floor from hazards, um, uh, protect the environmental from different chemicals that we are using inside. Uh, so basically graduating from college, you know, studying safety for four years, um, was able to start working out in corporate after graduation and they was basically showing me a lot about how to protect employees and also how to protect our environmental. So was able to come out here to Snoqualmie and was able to fit in with Geraldine, who is also on a safety team. Our jobs is basically, our role is basically to protect everyone that's in the facility. It's a huge job and, and really important in manufacturing. Um, Daryl, how about you? Tell us about your role and, and how it's critical to our manufacturing operations. Um, well, I consider my role here at TGP as a maintenance tech to be uh, critical just based on the fact that uh, I'm responsible for maintaining and uh, keeping all the equipment up and running. Uh, I, I'd say in essence that I help keep the wheels turning. Yeah, things break all the time, so we know who to call when, when that happens. Um, thank you. So Hope, what materials or technology would people be surprised to learn that you work with? So as a welder, I go through a lot of materials. Um, so there's actually a vending machine that uh, we have a code to that allows us to get access to, to grab materials that we may need. Um, so I go through a lot of gloves. I go through a lot of um, different pads for grindings um, and a lot of tungstens for welding. So we have that machine and it works out very well for us. <laughs> Great. Um, Jared, what, what about you? What materials or technology would people be surprised to learn that you work with? I think the main one here at TGP and in manufacturing period is um, since manufacturing is creative and we're innovating new products, especially at Allegiant, um, the project management software that we use here is completely um, custom and unlike anything I've ever seen. Um, and pretty much it's a tool that we are able to speak to everybody that's part of the process here within the building, as well as provide our customers with the quality experience that they deserve and expect. Definitely. Wonderful, thank you. Um, so thinking about growth, uh, what growth opportunities have you had or do you have in manufacturing uh, technical glass products? Daryl, I'll, I'll pass that to you first. My growth opportunities here at TGP 
have been absolutely exponential. Um, over the period of the last eight years, I've worked as an assembler, a crate builder, glass processor, uh, welder, and finally, I've come to rest on a maintenance technician. Um, I've worn many, many hats here, and I've enjoyed them all, but I think uh, I finally found where I'd like to be. Yeah, and it helps that you've had all of those other experiences now when something does break. So, um, Spencer, what about you? Tell us about your growth opportunities um, that you've had. Yeah, so I started out here seven years ago and I was working out in prep, sanding parts and just handing materials. Went from there to operating a sandblasting and from there I went to applying the powder and I was a primary coder for a number of years and then now I'm at a team lead for powder coating. I get to learn, you know, the next steps from my supervisor and it's a very good opportunity. I'm very happy. Great, thank you. So can anyone give us an example of a recent success they've had in their role here? Something that has had an impact on the business or that you're particularly particularly proud of? Um, Brian G, we'll, we'll start with you. Yeah, I have an example of that, Emily. Um, so at TGP, every order goes through an iterative uh, dis uh, revision process. So the PMs and engineers work together with the customer to get a, a set of shops. And we have a queue that we pull our work from to schedule that work. Um, earlier this year, we had an opportunity to improve that process. So I worked with a small team um, and we created a template that broke down our work by difficulty level. And then we used that to assign basically a time to that each one of those jobs. Um, and that significantly improved our efficiency in engineering. Um, it gave more visibility to our incoming and outgoing work, and it allowed us time to work on other uh, R&D projects and new product development jobs. Um, so I think it just goes to show that in all areas of manufacturing, there's always a, an opportunity for improvement. That's a great process improvement. Um, Murray, how about you? Can you tell us about a recent success that you've had in your role here? Yes, I can. Uh, so I would say our recent success as you know, been the environmental health and safety team will be this COVID-19 outbreak uh, that started back in February. Uh, since the COVID has started, uh, we had to make our team had to make uh, a lot of adjustments. Uh, the first some examples of the adjustments we had to do was, you know, having employees enter through the back for temperature screening, uh, having all the employees wear masks. Um, wiping down tools. We have a facility wiped down every two weeks as well. Uh, but so far we have been doing great so far, making that adjustment to the COVID outbreak was our success. And uh, we just want to maintain that success as well moving forward. Yeah, that's great. You've been a huge help to our team as well. And I know everyone as we've been trying to work through this together. So Hope, I, I'd love to know more about what makes you proud or makes you the proudest working for a Legion in TGP. So I would say um, one of the big things is that they're actually giving opportunities to young adults like I am, you know, um, they have internships, apprenticeships. They, if you join the team, they'll help pay for your for, uh, further education uh, in that field you are working in or whatever, um, which makes me um, very happy and proud to say that I am part of it, uh, to be one of those success stories of how I got, I came in and I got hired on. So yeah. Thank you. Brian T, what what about working at Allegion makes you the proudest? Well, I think I love the idea of being a part of a team that helps create such reliable products worldwide. Like we help to create hospitals and clinics, fire departments, police stations and schools. And I think that's something for everybody to be extremely proud of. Definitely. Uh, Brian G, I have a, a question for you around advice. Uh, what's one piece of advice you'd have for someone entering the manufacturing industry? Yeah, per, uh, personally, I think uh, my advice would be to always ask questions. I think um, whenever you enter a new role um, or a new industry, um, asking questions can be, uh, not only benefit you personally and your growth, but also might uncover opportunities for improvements uh, that have been sitting in plain sight for some time. Um, 
I think manufacturing is all about continuous improvement, um, trying to produce more product at a faster rate uh, with a higher level of quality, uh, all while reducing waste. Um, and so I think there's always ways to improve, and I think asking questions will uh, is, is the is the way there. Definitely. Thank you, uh, Spencer. What advice would you give someone looking to enter manufacturing? Yeah, not to piggyback too much, but I 100% agree with him. And I think one of the most things you can do is just have a good attitude and just, you know, don't get too frustrated with things. And if you're not, you know, too familiar with things, just like you said, ask questions and just be open to learning new things. Yeah, thank you. Jen, um, what advice would you give for someone looking to enter manufacturing? I would say start learning how things work. So unplug a fan or a microwave and start uh, taking it apart, look into the technology behind it. And if you can't do that, there's plenty of videos of other people doing it. So uh, there's a lot to learn out there. Yeah, great, thank you so much. Um, so to summarize, if you could describe today's manufacturing careers or your manufacturing career in one word or phrase, what would it be? We'll start with Daryl. Um, I would choose metamorphosis. Um, and my reasoning behind that, we're always growing, we're always advancing, we're always trying to turn into the best form of who we can be both as a company and as individuals. Spencer, how about you? I gotta go with what Daryl said too. I mean, that's just a perfect <laughs> example of it. I mean, we're always, you know, looking for new ways to be at the top of the safety game and, and it's constantly changing throughout the years. So, I mean, it's it's a never ending change. So it's always going to be evolving. Yeah. Thank you. Hope, what would you describe your manufacturing career in one word or phrase? Also, that, <laughs> that's the funny part um, because, you know, and every t every day we're getting better, we're getting we're getting better at evolving and understanding each other and working as a team as well. So I think as well as Daryl. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Brian T. I'm gonna say longevity because we're we're in an industry that it's, it's something that's always gonna be needed. And like with the event of COVID, so many people worldwide losing their jobs, we're still here, we're standing strong and we're doing great. So I, longevity, I think. Brian G. Uh, I'm going to say increase efficiency and decrease waste. I think uh, companies nowadays are more aware of the environmental impacts of, of large scale manufacturing. I think there's a financial benefit and an environmental benefit of continually improving in those areas. Thank you. Murray, how about you? Um, so my one word, well, my phrase will be uh, proper preparation prevents poor performance. Uh, the only reason I would say that is because, uh, you know, for myself being young and only been with the facility for a year and a half, uh, started out in corporate and going down to Tennessee, it has allowed me to basically prepare myself to be able to adjust uh, to, you know, our facility out here in, in Tennessee. So I have done a proper preparation, uh, taken all that I learned, and it, it allowed me to be prepared for the future. So that's my face. Thank you. Jen, what would be your word or phrase? I would say continuous learning. Uh, we are constantly learning new things. Uh, I know myself, I learn a new thing every day, uh, just being on the shop floor. There's always something new that's happening or a new device that I learn something about. Thank you. Jared, how about you? I would have to say inventive, because for me personally here at TGP, I've been on many projects that have had to invent um, configurations, doors, hardware. Um, but regardless of any field that you're in, I believe that manufacturing is is dealing with designs that are um, being invented as we speak, um, and the need for new innovation in manufacturing is ever growing. So definitely an inventive industry. Great, thank you. 
Um, so thank you to all of our panelists for sharing your perspectives today. I, I think they were all really interesting for our students and hopefully this is helpful for students or people potentially thinking about a manufacturing career to understand how critical some of these these roles are and how you know everything we use every day is made somewhere um, and you could be a part of that someday as well. Um, so thank you again and uh, we hope to see you sometime soon in the manufacturing field. The employees you just heard from truly showcase the broad variety of experiences available in our field. Now I have the honor of introducing you to yet another Allegiant team member who has had many valuable experiences in manufacturing. In fact, this individual got his start as a first line supervisor on the manufacturing floor. And today he is Allegiant's first and only CEO. I could share a lot about Dave's leadership and his career achievements, but I know he's here today because he wants to share his own real life story about the value and opportunities within manufacturing. Dave, the floor is yours. So thank you, Devin. It's good to see you virtually and hear your voice. I, I also want to give a big shout out to the Allegiant team at TGP and AD Systems. Uh, it's great to hear your stories and uh, talk about the opportunity in manufacturing. I also, you know, a big welcome to, you know, the students. Uh, I'm glad you're interested in manufacturing and uh, I challenge you, if you look hard at the manufacturing opportunities, not only at Allegiant, TGP, and AD, but just go out and look at, uh, you know, the great opportunities that are in the Northwest at companies like Boeing. Uh, a, a comp another company, company I was uh, associated with was called uh, Millicron. Uh, uh, just, you know, great opportunities. Now, for me, um, I look like you about 50 years ago, uh, uh, you know, a young high school student. Um, I want you to know that, you know, when I was considering my options as a senior in high school or, you know, when I started in college, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. And uh, I wasn't a very good student. I was, you know, my academics in high school were very average. I came from a single family household. My father died when I was five. There were six children. So, you know, a path to college wasn't necessarily guaranteed or expected. Uh, so when I, you know, turned, when, when I, uh, no, let me say this. Very early on, I learned how to work in a variety of agriculture. Uh, uh, I, I've done everything from deliver newspapers, to pump gas when people paid you to pump gasoline. That, that happened well before you were all born. Uh, bagged ice, uh, laid sod, uh, a lot of physical activities that gave me some exposures, but one of the strengths I had was the ability to use my hands, use tools. I'm a hands-on learner, and I'd encourage you to think about how you learn and what makes you happy. As I finished my high school, I got a summer job in an electrical supply house. Uh, if you think about the systems that make, you know, the electrical system work, things like light bulbs, electrical distribution panels, uh, lamps, meters, uh, it's really a very complex thing. And inside an electrical supply house is where those components come together. Uh, I started there as a summer job. And uh, I worked there the next two and a half years, and that work experience still has a profound effect on my life. As I went through my high school years, not only did I have a lot of jobs, but I was a pretty good basketball player. Again, I'll remind you, I wasn't a very good student. Uh, but uh, my, my academics in basketball and then my summer job, I, I went out to a local junior college. Um, it was a community college called Iowa Western Community College. And I went in at the end of the summer and said, I've got to resign because I'm going to, to the local community college. And the owner said, you can work here anytime you want. And over the next two and a half years, I... Uh, manage my uh, academics at Iowa Western. I was a full-time student. I'd play basketball and I needed the money and I worked and that did a lot for me. Number one, it kept me out of trouble. I, you know, I had lots of fun growing up and, you know, I was in my home area. So there were lots of distractions, work, academics, and basketball, you know, kept me focused and kept me learning, which was important. Uh, 
effectively my job at the uh, electrical supply house, there were no computers, so I had to physically go out and count everything in the, in the wholesale house. That took about every 90 days. I'm a hands-on learner, and those counting lessons, what I learned from the component size, carried me for the rest of my, my days. After two and a half years, you know, what am I going to do? Uh, really by, you know, really chance, my sister challenged me to go up to the University of Northern Iowa. I went up there, I enrolled, I was accepted, and I began to study, study industrial management. And again, a very average student. And uh, when I completed my study at the University of Iowa, uh, the economics were very tough, almost like we face today. Unemployment in the nation was almost 12%. And uh, I was one of three in my industrial management class to be given a job out of over 130 students. And uh, the reason I got a job was not because of my stellar academic performance, it was because of my work experience. The work from the electrical supply house uh, uh, differentiated me versus the other, the other college graduates. And in 1981, I started on the factory floor of a company called Square D Company. And 22 years later, I would run the entire Square D company with over 17,000 employees. If I never would have started on that factory floor, if I wouldn't have had that work experience, you know, my, my, my life wouldn't have been changed. But when I started on the factory floor, it was a bit of an intimidating uh, experience. Uh, I had over 70 direct reports. There were complex manufacturing processes going on. Uh, and, you know, I was number five of six in my family. I, I learned how to be a listener. Basketball taught me how to be a team player. And, you know, I worked every day uh, as I started on the factory floor in Lincoln, Nebraska, to try and make the operations better. Some of the, the messages you heard from my teammates at TGP and AD, uh, there was a new challenge every day, the ability to solve problems, the ability to invent new methods to do things uh, was a very exciting environment. And I would say this, my ability to take my hands on learning and cumul cum cumulative experiences could be unleashed in the factory. Um, from my start almost 40 years ago at Lincoln, Nebraska, at the lowest level as a first line supervisor, my career has taken me to 49 of the 50 states. I've been in 53 countries. I lived in nine different regions. And today I'm the CEO or head coach. You might think of, you know, what the what is a CEO? I'm a little bit like Pete Carroll, who coaches the uh, Seattle Seahawks. I'm the head coach. I've got a great team. I've got great assistant coaches and team players, but I'm the head coach of a company called the Legion. We've got a, over 11,000 employees worldwide. And uh, it's because of that experience on manufacturing uh, that have helped me. Manufacturing has changed dramatically over, you know, my 40 years. And that's the exciting part about it is you know, a base level of capability, and I've worked hard to continuous be, you know, continually learn about the changing capabilities uh, that are required to be successful in manufacturing. Manufacturing is important to our country. Why are the economics of the Northwest United States, Seattle, Washington strong? It's because they've got a strong manufacturing backbone. Boeing would be an anchor example. Microsoft is a manufacturer too of software, but it's, if you, you think about the importance of manufacturing, it creates wealth in a community. It also creates opportunity. And you've heard about many of the opportunities from our team members. I joined a manufacturing floor some 40 years ago and it changed my life. And I would, I would, you know, really push you to think about if you want to be in an environment where you're growing, learning and challenged every day, are exposed to lots of different people and solving problems, manufacturing should interest you. And I hope Allegiant, TGP and AD systems would too. I can say 
in my 40 years, there's never been a day without excitement, change, and uh, uh, the people I have met along the way, I have been blessed. So uh, I would have never imagined, again, think back where I came from, a, a single parent, uh, really didn't travel much out of the Midwest. I was born in a place called Council Bluffs, Iowa, and that I have traveled around the world maybe 25 times has been an incredible ride. And it's because uh, my opportunity in manufacturing and I chose a company, Square D, and then, you know, its predecessors that would develop me and help me grow and learn. And I, I encourage you, whether it's a legion or other opportunities, when you join a company like a legion, they have a responsibility to develop you and you have a responsibility to develop your, yourself. And if you've got a good work ethic, if you're a good team player and you're willing to learn, the opportunities could be as exciting as mine. Uh, at Allegiant, we uh, uh, provide tuition reimbursement. I have taken advantage of tuition reimbursement programs of a variety of ways. And then the companies I've been a part of have invested in me. I, I would challenge you as you look at your opportunities, is the company uh, that I join, are they going to help me develop, learn and grow? And am I going to invest in myself? If you do that, you'll have a good journey. So with that, Devin, I'll turn it back over to you. Uh, good luck in your young lives. Stay safe and be healthy. Wear your mask, wash your hands, study hard, and you know, you've got a bright future ahead of you. Good luck to all of you. Thanks, Devin. You're welcome, Devin. I'm actually going to hop in here. Hi, this is Whitney Mormon. I'm Reputation Management Leader at Allegion. Um, and thank you, Dave. And thank you, Devin. And thank you, Janet. Um, and to the full TGP team for taking the time to um, share with the students that are part of this event today um, and moving forward with the others who will watch. Um, I We wanted to open it up to um, an opportunity for questions. Um, to be asked and for our leaders here that are a part of this event um, to answer. And um, so for those who are live with us, there is a chat function that you can use. Um, it's a little double chat bubble with a question mark on it if you'd like to submit anything. Um, but I am just going to start here with um, Dave. Um, you just shared a lot about your own manufacturing career um, and advice um, for the students. Um, if you had to boil that down to just one piece of advice that you would give these students today or someone who is looking to join the manufacturing um, industry, what would that one piece of advice be? Um, when you walk onto a manufacturing floor or are considering alternatives in manufacturing, do your due diligence. Um, is it a strong and growing company? Is it profitable? And you know, you want to join a company that is, you know, rising up like a TGP, AD, or a Legion. Uh, you know, there's companies out there that are going sideways. They're not growing. They're not profitable. I know it's hard to to look at a company and say, you know, are you making money? But they will interview you, and I'd encourage you just ask, you know. How, what is the profit picture of this company, one? And two, what are you going to do to help me develop and grow? So, you know, maybe two angles there, Whitney. Thanks, Dave. And Devin, Janice, and then I know we also have our um, operations uh, manager, Michael, on as well. Um, what would you add to that? What piece of pieces of advice would you give to students listening? Yeah, I think I think Dave raises a good point. You want to look at companies that have opportunity in the future. Um, you know, being here in the Northwest, folks always assume if you're not in high tech, uh, you're left behind, and I, that's simply not the case. When you look at manufacturing here at TGP as an example, or up at our uh, another company owned by Legion in Everett, Washington, AD Systems, um, we rely on a lot of technology, whether it be software or the systems that we use on the floors to produce the, the manufactured materials that we ship every day. 
um, we're in a very dynamic environment and um, there's a lot of people here who have the skill sets to work in some of these other high tech companies that you think of, but happen to be here and they're much needed. Um, so whether it be in any, any functional area within our business, whether it be on the production floor itself, in the various areas like powder coating that Spencer talked about, uh, up to the engineering group, uh, there's a lot of opportunity and it's a very dynamic environment. Whitney, I'd like to add, um, and what I appreciate about what Dave said is that he's our head coach and we're all players on this team and for anybody coming into this work environment it's so important to be part of that team and play as a teammate and a team member um, work well with your coworkers and work together to build new ideas be creative and share those thoughts with one another um, because as many of the people on the panel said in the voices of the legion it's all about innovation and change and we have to be ready for it so when the team is solid you're able to make those changes a lot faster. And I think COVID has been a real good example of that, of how we've adjusted as an organization and met the challenge and, and we're moving forward with it. Whitney, um, this is Mike Powell and I'm the plant manager at Technical Glass. And I've been with the company for more than 13 years and I've spent my career in sales, supply chain and manufacturing. And my word of advice is to know that the skills that you learn in manufacturing are transferable across industries. Whether you're making automobiles in Detroit or airplanes in Seattle or fire rated windows and doors in Snoqualmie, the building blocks and variety of trades needed, such as machinists, welders, assemblers, are not so different. Um, products all require to be designed, sold, materials procured, scheduled, fabricated, assembled and tested and packed and shipped. And these skills you develop today can also provide you with mobility in the future from within your current place of work or if you decide to relocate to another city, state, or country. And manufacturing is rewarding and a lot of fun. And if you enjoy making things, be sure to give consideration as you explore your career opportunities. Well, thank you all. Um, that is definitely a lot of great advice and um, gives students a lot to think about there, but a couple more questions um, to give them some more. Um, one is, um, that I know we often hear and we heard from employees uh, in our uh, video today and as a part of the panel that um, manufacturing, one of the reasons they also love working in manufacturing is because there's such a great family atmosphere set um, at TGP, at Allegiant, um, at AD Systems. And so I'm wondering if any of you have um, memories um, or uh, different events or something that's happened in your manufacturing career that relates to that notion of it being like a family atmosphere or having a, a strong impact on you. Um, and that's open, uh, Dave, Devin, Janice, Michael, whoever would like to share there. I'll weigh in here first, uh, you know, probably being the most senior on the call, you know, being a different region of the country, uh, uh, I, I, I've been exposed to, you know, different teams, different cultures. It may be like going from the Kansas City Chiefs to uh, the Seattle Seahawks, if you like football, or, you know, the Dodgers uh, to the Marlins, uh, or I guess it's the Devil Rays. Uh, but there's a, a team culture, you know, in within business, especially within manufacturing. And you know, very fundamentally, uh, there's competitors out there that want to win that order, produce a better product, serve customers at a higher level. And the spirit of the competition, uh, the camaraderie, the teamwork that it takes to, you know, produce complex things creates a unique culture within a manufacturing environment. And uh, uh, when you see people together, working together, and let's use the Seattle Seahawks as an example, uh, you've got the offense, the defense, the special teams, uh, uh, the coaches, uh, um, you know, working together day in, day out to, you know, beat the Dallas Cowboys or beat the San Francisco 49ers, and that comes together, and when you're having a, a year like Seattle's happy, uh, you're fighting, you know, for business success, but, you know, uh, when people can come together and achieve goals of working safely, providing quality products, 
growing the business and doing it profit profitably when people can grow is uh, one of the most rewarding environments uh, that uh, you can have as a member of, of any team or any society. So it's put a lot of energy uh, uh, in, in my life and it's made manufacturing just an exciting place to be that you may not imagine because if you don't work together, it doesn't happen. I'll piggyback off that, Dave. I, I would totally agree with you. As an example, if you look at our manufacturing location here, if you look at TGP and you look at the different areas of the business and how much we rely on each other's efforts and successes for the entire group to be successful, it's, it's critically important. And I think um, one of the things I'm really proud of with the company here, as well as the other Allegiant businesses and locations, is that if there is ever a need where you feel like you're not succeeding, where you need some help from these other groups, you can raise your hand and there's the support and participation from other team members to make, make that success possible. And uh, it's been very evident here. And there's lots of other companies like us, but that's something that I think that I would, going back to the question about selecting a, a company, just make sure you've got a good feeling about, about the various groups and almost that family feeling, it's, it's really important. <clears throat> Thank you both for sharing. Um, and then I also, um, Janice, wanted to throw a question to you regarding um, pay in a manufacturing career. I know that's something that um, we're asked by students or prospective employees pretty often. So what can pay look like in a manufacturing career and what are the different aspects of that that people should consider? Yeah, thanks, Whitney. That's obviously really important to anybody look exploring any job opportunity. Uh, I will say that at Allegiant and at TGP, we do monitor the market uh, wages to ensure that we are paying equitably. Uh, but I also say that pay comes through different formats, and it's not just about what you take home in your paycheck, but it also includes your health and welfare benefits. A safe work environment is extremely important to that take home pay. Uh, the tools you need to do your job, um, extra amenities. I am proud to say that here at TGP, we have an amazing gym. Um, and then most importantly, because you can take a paycheck home any day, but it's your coworkers and, and the people that you're working with. And again, going back to that sense of family and teamwork. And so all of these things are important when it comes down to pay and how you feel about your job and what makes that job satisfaction ring true for you. Thanks, Janice. And then the last question we have in our queue, um, I'll also send your way at least to start initially as well, and that is um, on AD Systems. I know we've talked a lot about TGP today, but you also mentioned that um, we have 250 people employed in the local area. I think Devin said about nearly 190 of those are at TGP. So can you talk a little bit about AD Systems too, where they're located and um, what we do there? Sure, I'd be, I'd be happy to. Uh, AD Systems is a, is a company that was acquired actually around the same time as TGP, located up in the Everett area across from Payne Field. And they specialize, There's it's a similar type of business as TGP where they produce uh, doors, but primarily used in medical facilities. Um, and they're a specialized door. So there's acoustical properties, meaning it, it it blocks the transfer of sound from one side to the other so that patients and doctors may have privacy um, during appointments. Um, but again, it's not just a standard door that you go to Home Depot and find and put in, a, in an opening. These are made to order based on an architect's custom specifications. And so we have a very similar um, footprint, if you will, uh, with, with a team of folks that are in engineering, project management, sales on the front end of the business, uh, and then on the back end of the business, we have a very similar uh, manufacturing footprint as well. Just a little bit smaller scale, but there's a lot of opportunity for growth for that company as well as we look to the future. Thank you, Devin. And thank you um, again, Dave, for sharing your special um, and unique manufacturing journey today with the students and Devin and Janice and Michael for answering these questions. 
We do want to share now um, some special remarks from a few of our elected officials from the great state of Washington. Hi, I'm Mayor Matt Larson, and I want to welcome you to Man Manufacturing Day Snoqualmie. I'm very excited that you're taking time to do this day, and I want to thank the uh, folks from Technical Allegiance Technical Glass Products for, for doing this. I think it's a phenomenal endeavor. Uh, this was an uh, effort that was born of a conversation between the school district, uh, myself, and, and uh, leaders of lo local companies. Uh, in fact, as a mayor, I've been involved in a lot of large regional leadership conferences that have pulled together people from like the governor, state legislators, industry leaders in Boeing, Microsoft, Amazon, and other, other big employers in the region. And a common theme was that you know, as a region, we're sort of failing to connect a lot of students coming out of particularly high schools that um, are not interested in going to college. Uh, more interested in, in, in sort of putting hands on blue collar type jobs. And we're not connecting them with phenomenal opportunities of thousands of jobs locally here. It occurred to me that we, we had that same disconnect within the Snoqualmie community. It's been a bit of a, an unfortunate hidden secret that even in, the, in Snoqualmie within our business park, we have some phenomenal companies like Technical Glass Products. We also have Space Labs that was born during the Apollo astronaut program. Uh, when they came up with innovative wireless, uh, you know, medical diagnostic equipment that was used in the Apollo program. Uh, we have Z Tech that has robots that crawl around inside of nuclear reactors and uh, evaluate metal fatigue and things like that. Of course, technical glass products. And, and we also own about 82% of the worldwide market of everything you pull behind a recreational watercraft with uh, wakeboards and skis and inflatables and so forth. All of that comes out of the business park and, and design uh, research and development and distribution. Uh, so again, there's phenomenal jobs. We want to make those connections. Uh, if, if, that, if you're someone that's not interested so much in managing people, but really, you know, helping build and manufacture the world that makes everything work, uh, then, then you hold your head high because there's great opportunities and I hope you're excited about the day ahead. Thanks for doing so. Again, thanks for Allegiant and enjoy the day. Hi, my name is Kim Schreier and I represent Washington's 8th Congressional District in Congress. I hope you and your families are staying healthy and doing well, and I hope you were enjoying this very unusual school year. I think it is great that you are here today to learn about careers in manufacturing. Washington State is a hub for manufacturing. In fact, we are a national leader drawing talent from all over the country and all over the world. We have a thriving manufacturing sector, particularly in areas like aerospace, wood and timber products, and also in food and food processing. Did you know that there are over 298,000 manufacturing jobs right here in Washington state? During the pandemic, many of those have even retooled uh, because right now there's a heightened need for things like masks and face shields, and they have stepped up to the challenge. Well, while you focus on your education and think about where your next path may lead, I am fighting for you in Washington, DC, making sure that we fund things like uh, career and technical education and apprenticeship programs, which are ways to get into manufacturing careers. So for now, stay safe, stay healthy, learn lots, explore your options, and thank you for having me join you at today's event. We were excited to share this with all, you, all of you today. Uh, as shown, Allegiant TGP offers a wide variety of opportunities. As you heard from one of our panelists today, she learned of opportunities through last year's Manufacturing Day event and has since joined us as a full-time welder. So don't be afraid to explore new opportunities and participate in events that broaden your knowledge. Uh, it's the key to your future. And don't forget to check back with us for jobs and potential opportunities in the future. <laughs>